my name is Shay and I like to torture myself by doing workout challenges. <laughs> I decided to give Mr. London's Get a Smaller Waist in 10 Days Challenge. It's a follow along at home workout showing you the best exercises to get a smaller waist while burning belly fat. I've always been self-conscious of my stomach area. I cover it up usually. So my goals for this challenge is that I want to come out feeling confident and beautiful. I want to like what I see in the mirror and I want to be comfortable wearing a crop top or something that shows off my tummy. You know what I mean? I am very body positive and I love all my curves, but there's always room for a little challenge and improvement. Hi, if you're just seeing my face, my name is Shay. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my basement, actually. So I am doing four workout challenges at once. Yes, I know I'm crazy. Um, I will list them all above. You should go watch them. But I'm doing like three of Mr. London's challenge. I'm doing a Chloe Ting challenge and a Vicky Justice challenge, okay? So if you're into that, hit the subscribe button to see more of me torture myself. This is my third video today and I am very clearly sweating and I just have one more to go. I saved the last for the hardest, which would be Chloe Tang's Get Peachy workout. So as of this week, my gym is now closed for 28 days and I wanna stay active. So I decided to ask you guys to um, recommend some at-home challenges for me and I'm doing most of them. So you can wish me luck, but I'm about to start Mr. London's abs in 10 days challenge. I just did his abs in 30 days challenge and that was hard. So um, I'm assuming this is going to be equally as challenging. So let's get into it. I love the little motivational speeches at the beginning of his workouts because it really makes me feel like he's here working out with me. So <laughs> hey, Mr. London. <laughs> Day one, I purposely did not watch the video beforehand just so I'd give you my real reactions to it. The video is 10 exercises, 40 seconds on, 50 seconds rest. The exercises are pretty similar to his other challenges where he will include an exercise to target your love handles, the fupa, your lower and upper abs. There's one exercise that I just could not for the life of me get. <laughs> Mr. London calls them the plank knee to elbow. He makes them look so effortless, but honestly, it's killer. I literally had to give up halfway through and I was just sitting there looking at him like, it's really discouraging when you can't do an exercise and you kind of have to take a longer break. It really brings your heart rate down. Since I'm doing a couple of other of Mr. London's challenges alongside this, I found that this video wasn't as challenging. I think it's because in his other videos, he supersets exercises with things like planks or like mountain climbers. In this video, you just get a 15 second break. Don't get me wrong, it's nice to have a break, but I like the challenge of keeping your heart rate up. It makes you feel like you're really burning calories. <sighs> Mr. London, you're killing me. <sighs> Today is day two of the Get a Smaller Waist in 10 Days. <sighs> I'm dying. I was determined to get through these exercises instead of sitting and staring at him like I had done the previous day. You can just see the excitement on my face, right? <laughs> Okay, so I'm actually doing Mr. London's two week fupa challenge and I'm also doing his um, get a smaller waist in 30 days. And the one thing I noticed about this video, the get a smaller waist in 10 days, is that his other videos in between exercises, he would have you do like a superset. So in one of them, you would be doing mountain climbers and the other you'd be doing 15 second planks. That was a killer. I just finished that. But this one, it's just like, you just rest. So you don't work up as much as a sweat. I like how Mr. London comes on in between the music and gives you words of encouragement. 10 more seconds left ladies, keep on pushing, do not stop, we're not done. Let's just comment on the music, it is bomb. <laughs> Mr. London, you're trying to kill me. I can't play it on here because it's copyrighted, but it's a Rihanna work remix mixed with the Panda song by Designer. Go give it a listen. He tells you to keep going and that if you need a break to take it. I like how he leaves in clips of him struggling because it really makes you feel normal, you know what I mean? I'm determined to get those plank death knee exercises by the end of the week. The plank twists are brutal. Let me tell you something. If you thought time slowed down when you did planks, then you have a surprise coming for you. One of my favorite moves is the side oblique crunches. I feel like if I keep doing these combined with cardio, then my love handles will definitely go down. There's this move at the end called the advanced superman and when I do these I feel like every muscle in my body clench. They're so hard but I feel it all my back and my glutes. I hope this is gonna make my back fat like reduced, you know? You know, I usually hate ads on YouTube but you know, can you throw me one? I need a break. 
Good morning. It is day three of my Get Abs in 10 Days by Mr. London Challenge. I don't know why I'm laughing. I'm so cheerful, but if you saw me 10 minutes ago, I was... I literally spent... I'm so embarrassed to say this, but two hours in my bed trying to convince myself to come and do this workout. Hey, guys, that is the video all done. Now, I kind of hit a slump, our gyms are closed. I'm just so used to having a routine, getting up, going to the gym, coming back home, etc. So being in my house, it's so unmotivating to like get out of bed, go downstairs and work out. I want to leave the house. <laughs> But you know what, it's okay because Mr. London is here to save the day. That shit rhymed. So I'm going to get into the video and I'm also starting a new challenge, so that's exciting. I've been really loving the Mr. London challenges because they're not super difficult and like such a struggle to do where it gets to the point where you like you just want to give up. Um, but for me personally, I find the knee to elbows very difficult to do because you're holding your whole body weight up and you have to do a lot of coordination, which I lack, okay? I hate this one. I also find the side to side plank pretty difficult, but anytime I feel like giving up, I just grab my love handles and I tell myself, look at this, look at this. This is what happens when you do, when you give up on exercise. <laughs> and then suddenly I have the power and I get right back up and I get through it. So as of this point, I had finished the Mr. London FUPA challenge and posted it. And I'll leave the link above for you to watch after this video. Don't forget to watch this video. <laughs> and Mr. London watched and commented on it. My soul damn near jumped up my body, girl. If that wasn't motivation enough to finish this challenge, then I don't know what is. <laughs> so just a quick tip for the ladies. To see your abs, you have to shed the layer of fat over top of it. That's why I usually do an ab challenge with some sort of cardio challenge like jump rope. Hint, hint, damn look out. <laughs> Along with having a clean eating habit, this is gonna help you shed belly fat and have those abs just shine on through. root. This is why I like when Mr. London adds a little superset in because it keeps your heart rate up and it makes you really break a sweat and burn those calories to shed that fat. I'll be doing a video where I rank and compare Mr. London's different workout programs once I complete them. So if you're not sure which program to start with, I've got you covered, girl. I feel like I'm getting a lot stronger. Like I'm not... I don't have a sweat buildup, obviously, because we're taking 15 second breaks in between. But I feel like I'm getting stronger. I'm doing the exercises for longer. I don't have to break as much in between, which is always good. So I'm going to finish this now. This is my breakfast this morning. So it is egg with tomatoes and tuna. That's like one of my go-to breakfasts. Makes me feel full with an everything bagel. And I have a green smoothie. There's like four bananas in here. Spinach, honey, chia seed water, milk. That's gonna get me through the day. Yum. I am so hungry after doing like five workouts, man. I'm gonna eat. Yeah, get into it. Usually in my challenge videos, people ask me what I eat. I don't have a set diet, but I pretty much eat healthy. I always have protein, usually chicken, and I'll always have vegetables. So a side salad with vinaigrette dressing. I only drink water, no pop. I cut that out a long time ago. My treat is kombucha because I love the bubbles and the fruit juice, so good. I have other meal prep videos on my channel if you want to check that out. I know some people like having extra meal ideas, so. Very good tea. My final thoughts with Mr. London's Ab in 10 Days program is that on its own, it's definitely not enough to see results, but if you combine it with some sort of cardio, a caloric deficit, and a healthy eating, you could see results. So I was jump roping and I was also taking walks, so that's definitely what helped helped me see better results because I was moving and I was keeping active. Because you're resting for so long in between the exercises, you don't sweat as much and you don't burn as much calories. So to see abs, you have to shed fat as well. What I've been aiming to do is do a bit of abs every single day. So if you have anyone's programs that you want me to review and try out, let me know down below. These little challenges excite me and really motivate me. And I'll be trying out a bunch of popular influencers. So if that's something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button, put the post notifications on, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.